Hi there! In this short video, I will show you how to add without regrouping and how to add with regrouping. Let's pretend that I am collecting rocks at the beach. So far, I have already collected 12 rocks. But the next day, I go out and I find 25 more rocks. How, how do I know how many I have altogether without counting them all? When you're adding two double digit numbers, you have to make sure that they're lined up correctly. Make sure that your ones numbers line up and that your tens numbers line up. First, we're going to build our numbers. Let's pretend that this rod represents 10. For our case, it will represent 10 stones. Let's pretend that this cube represents one, as in one stone. Keep in mind that 10 cubes makes one rod. Let's build our top number first. 25 has two tens and five ones. 12 has one ten and two ones. We always add the numbers in the ones column first. Five plus two equals seven. Now we add the numbers in the tens column. Two plus one equals three. That's three tens and seven ones all together, which makes 37. Now let's pretend that I go out the very next day to collect more stones. Remember that I still have 37 stones from yesterday. Today, I find another 25 stones. How do I figure out how many I have now? Now it's time to build our numbers. We know from earlier that 37 has 3 tens and 7 ones, and that 25 has 2 tens and 5 ones. We always add the numbers in the ones column first. 5 plus 7 is 12. But wait a minute, 12 can't fit in the ones column because 12 has a 10 inside. Whenever we have 10 or more 1s in the 1s column, we can make a 10 and carry it over to where it belongs in the 10s column. Now, we have two 1s left, and we can add the rest of our 10s. 3 plus 2 plus the 10 that we carried over makes 6. We have 6 10s and two 1s all together. 6 tens and 2 ones makes 62. Thanks for watching. Remember to check back soon for a video on double digit subtraction.